Hi guys, this is a video for managers on the update that Cloudbeds uh, had on the 27th of January 2020. Uh, they changed how the ad payment uh, thing happened. Uh, first things first, um, they didn't send any warning as far as I'm aware that they're actually going to update us on anything. And they generally don't. Or like, they'll sometimes they'll say, um, we're going to do an update this date, this time. If there's any connectivity issues, just please be aware it might be that um, sort of thing. But they don't, as far as I'm aware, they don't tell you what they're going to update. And I find that it's a bit inconvenient in that um, sometimes their updates require extra management research and stuff. <laughs> um, so, for example, they changed how we take payments into cloud beds a little bit. I mean, it's fundamentally the same, but there are changes and it does affect me as a manager that I had to research. So um, our morning receptionist just found out on their own and notified people. But um, to actually test like the ins and outs of the new features, um, uh, it took like an hour and a half, two hours, something for me to test all these different scenarios and all the different weird, like we get a lot of new receptionists who do things strangely. So I was testing all these things <laughs> basically. Um, and it takes a while to figure out the kind of ins and outs of the new way things work. So let me show you add payment. Um, it's very similar to before where you select um, what payment type you want. So if your um, reception staff selects the actual card on file, um, this was my biggest concern. So the first thing is it wants to charge the card on file. Like it auto sets here and I don't see a way to get it to auto set to something else like record previous payment. Um, I didn't like that because we don't actually allow our receptionist to charge cards on file and we don't want it to default to that like if they did have permissions or whatever. Um, the, the best example is we have a couple of receptionists who are also managers. So they have manager logins that allow them to charge cards on file, but it's only for specific scenarios. Um, generally, we don't like to charge cards on file because it's a card not present charge, which means if we get a charge back for that money, uh, chances are we're going to lose um, the charge back. So uh, I didn't like that it defaulted to this in particular. Uh, granted, they could just select credit card um, like they should be, but some people just like think they're being more accurate by selecting the actual card that the person's charging <laughs> on the terminal. Uh, anyway, so even when our managers are on the front desk, we ask them to do it through uh, all their credit card charges through the terminal um, and not through cloud beds. Uh, so I told them, you guys need, we need to get receptionist logins for you so that um, you don't accidentally um, charge people this way and then have to undo it. And then the person doesn't have enough money on their credit card anymore to do a second charge. Like, it's just like way a hassle <laughs> whenever we've had receptionists accidentally um, charge the card on file, basically through cloud beds. <laughs> um, so I just told them uh, for that reason, I'd like to get you guys normal receptionist logins as well, like a second login. And also, it's going to be more accurate when they train new receptionists because the, their receptionist login will behave like a receptionist login, which the new trainee is going to get one of their own soon anyway. Um, anyway, so that, that was one big difference. I made a receptionist login for all of our managers um, so that hopefully they'll use it uh, when they're um, just at the front desk doing normal front desk things. Uh, we never use pre-authorized, so I don't know the ins and outs. And you could still still select the card on file, but uh, make it a record previous payment um, if you actually just did it on a terminal transaction. Um, anyway, let's go back. And then there's a regular credit card charge. Again, it defaults to this. So I think the majority of our receptionists will select regular credit card and then they're going to have to select this, which they didn't used to have to do. This is an extra step it has to be added to their list. Um, <clears throat> we kind of list the buttons that they have to press so that uh, new receptionists are not lost so much. Um, before it would just auto set so that this would say record record or something like that record previous payment because um receptionists were not allowed to charge anyway so why would they have these options um 
Anywho, and what I don't particularly like about this is like sometimes we ask them to store credit card details, um, sometimes we don't. I don't like it being auto clicked and I can't auto unclick it for our, our it's just more clicks. <laughs> um, and I also don't like that they have to unclick this because um, then that makes them more aware that they can actually change the date and time of a payment, which I think would really, 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 really mess with um, our banking procedures and stuff. Like, we just tell them to um, just record whatever. Or, or like, they never had to think about it before. I don't want people that selecting this, selecting a different date in the past or in the future. Like, it could really mess up our banking and, and taxes and stuff. Um, I know that some properties like this, but I just think we should be given the option, but we're not, <laughs> apparently. Um, okay, so yeah, I don't like that. One, you, ha you have two extra things to click, potentially. Um, I did tell them that um, they need to be really... They need to record if if they're recording a credit card that's different than the one on file. That's fine. Um, they need to do it before they take payment. Like they shouldn't do it in this moment um, because um, if we do it this way and they type in the number and then they forget to move from charge to record previous payment and they press continue, it's gonna block block them. It's going to have an error code. Um, and that's not good because as soon as the error code goes up, this button becomes impossible to push, even if you fix it by moving it to record previous payment. Uh, so they have to cancel. Um, they would have to add payment again. Uh, they'd have to select credit card again. Now they'd have to select the correct button and then type in the credit card details all over again, which I think the guests would not appreciate, plus takes a lot of time. So I tell the receptionist just to record credit card per usual earlier on in the um, the transaction, I guess. Um, so I just, uh, I'm not a huge fan of receptionists having to know a little bit more of the ins and outs, um, seeing more of the things that they used to kind of not pay attention to. Um, let me think. And of course, our managers having to, I mean, honestly, our manager should have had a receptionist login anyway, so that um, when they train a uh, new receptionist, then the new receptionist sees what's normal. Um, but one improvement is I no longer have to select credit card type when I'm just not recording any of the credit card details. I thought that was always unnecessary, and yet it used to be required on credit card things, you know. Anyway, I think that's all the ins and outs I found when I was looking into it. So if your settings are to not allow receptionists to pre-charge or um, charge the card on file, those will stay consistent, but a few other details have changed. And just be aware that um, they, uh, CloudBeds makes changes kind of out of nowhere um, that you're not warned about that could affect your management stuff. So you need... Um, just to be aware that, oh, sorry, I got interrupted. Um, yeah, so you're just not going to get a warning, basically. It, when they make changes, it could affect your systems. Um, uh, I always double and triple check every little scenario to see kind of the ins and outs so I could be aware for the future what kind of problems we might face in the future with this new set of, um, you know, uh, software details sort of thing. So I'm always trying to keep an eye out for uh, things we might have issues with because we have a lot of short-term receptionists who just kind of, every once in a while, we get people who just kind of do things <laughs> that don't work for us um, and, and cause a little bit of chaos and extra management stuff. So um, just be aware of that. CloudBeds does make a lot of great changes and they make a lot of neutral changes and they make a lot of changes that you're like, ah, I, I wish I had been asked about that or been given an option. So anyway, this is the most recent example. All right. Thanks for your time. If you guys are interested in signing up for CloudBeds or at least uh, learning the ins and outs in more detail, um, you can sign up for a demo using my link in the description below. And they'll show you all the ins and outs and things that might affect your business in particular. And um, if you use my link, you get a $50 discount. If you do sign up, uh, you don't have to, of course. But uh, if you don't use my link, you won't get 
the $50 discount. All right, have a nice day.